Let's take the first scenario. Open item management in GL outgoing payments. That means payment is going out. In a learning activity, let's take an example transaction as salary account debit and bank account credit. Now, let's say we involve provisional account. Okay, we involve provisional account. Now, the journal entries will be first, it is salary account debit to provisions of salary accounts credit. Now, when the actual salary happens, then the second journal entries will be provisions of salary account debit to bank account. Provisions of salary account debit to bank account. Now, if you observe, for the provision of salary account, we do the credit first. Yes, we do the credit first and then debit the provisions of salary account during the actual posting of salary. I will make these provisions of salary account as open item managed so that after the first journal posting, the provisions of salary account will show as open in our line item report. When the actual salary is released, then the open items are cleared. Let me give you the overview of the activities we will be performing in SAP system for these journal entries. First, we create the provision for salary account using the T code FS00. We create it under the liability account group because as you know already, all provisions related to expenses will be liability. Correct, right? We know that all provisions related to expenses will be liability. While creating this GL account, we will make the settings as open item managed. What we will do, we will make the settings as open item managed. Since we will be posting the outgoing payments in SAP, uh, that is as vendor payments, we need to make the number range configuration for the document type KZ. Recall what you had learned in the document type section of this course. K means vendor, Z means payments. So, document KZ means what? Document case, it means vendor payments. It is as simple as that. It is just vendor payments. After creating the number range, what we will do? We will maintain the tolerance group for the GL outgoing and incoming. So this completes the configuration part. Then we will proceed to post the document as an end user. Here what we will do? We create the posting for first journal entry using the T code F-02. What is the transaction code here? It is F-02. That is salary account debit to provisions for salary accounts. After creating the posting, we will verify the posting in FBL3N report. Okay, and check the status whether the provisions of the salary account is open or not. After verifying it as open, we will post the outgoing payment document using the T code F-07. So, this will create the second journal entry. Yes, this will create the second journal entry. Provisions for salary account debit to bank account. Then, again we will check in FBL3 and report to confirm provisions for salary account has been cleared or not. So guys, let's perform these steps one by one in the next video.